one more thing I forgot to talk about, and it's going to be squeezed in between the episodes of uh, 64 and 62, because I actually missed, probably intentionally, one thing very important to note. Smart person is not going to help you. You're in trouble. Most of the time, smart person is not going to help you. You're in trouble. Uh, because smart people are not the one with the resources. Smart people are just there to take resources from you because you're not smart enough to use them. So you're supposed to give them the resources. But if you're in trouble, most likely you're, you like resources. Not exactly smart. If you have resources and you're, you're very well, you must seek smarts and smart people. Uh, all I can see is apocalypse. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty genius up in here. And the problem is gonna happen. One big problem is I'm gonna start seeing people who want help. And as people give me the resources, they will expect me to actually share those resources to the people who need help. But, uh, if that is not where I'm gonna use the resources until I actually see options and choices. Most of the time, people who are giving me the resources will actually need my help. I will use their resources to help them, meaning that I will be smart in using resources that they give me. It's just gonna be my responsibility, that's it. It is that simple. You know, that these resources are not exactly mine anyways. They're already determined to be used for something. And then, even then, afterwards, I have to secure my future. If I cannot secure my future, I cannot help anyone. Because I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the future. I might just be preparing myself to die. And anyone who, want, who wants my help will actually get in my way. So there's a lot of fucking questions you have to ask before you even start helping people. And if it's apocalypse, if it's truly that crazy and the god lost its way, well, it's gotta slowly fade into nothingness and prepare yourself accordingly. Right now it's unclear because people have plenty of resources to survive the only thing I see is a very simple problem of too many lies. Uh, not knowing what exactly is the clock of humanity. So what speed is at of this clock? I suppose that Nazi is a structure and the rest two things are a uh, friends and jobs. So friends are first grade problem. There is the fourth grade problem of old school, right? Socialism is old school. And it's so old, in fact, it's gonna be changed very quickly. You can tell. But the first thing first, that we have to solve a few problems first. And the two problems will flip into bigger problems and much more vicious problems, almost to the point of instability itself, almost to the point of impossibility. So we can actually identify these. As I said, friends and jobs belong to the cats. And then the science in schools, which is the same thing, and mostly schools, by the way. We're focusing on schools here, because the biggest sin, as you're going to hear in the next video, is the fact that you should have never left school. The job should have been offered to you from your comfort zone. And if you don't, believe me, 
uh, well, first figure out uh, if you have the experience of leaving school. If you do, that experience is torture, is ripping you off from the environment where you learned so many things. You are invested into that environment and you want to learn more. Uh, now, luckily, I have found a secondary environment, an environment that well, sort of never really changed. Computer space, internet. This is where it's at right now. Internet is a red herring. It doesn't actually exist. In fact, internet doesn't exist in humanity. Can you can you comprehend this for a little while? Internet does not exist. Anyways. This is why it overcomplicates things. Everyone still pretends that internet does not exist. Throws parties, throws a lot of pressure on themselves to look good and clean. Throws a lot of investments into their homes. If people acknowledge that internet does in fact exist, we're downsized to a computer, a room, no rent, barely any food, barely any friends needed. Everything is downsized immediately. And we're in a new stage of communism. You can do whatever you want within the space of the computer. And you are in fact connected to some close friends who just sort of do whatever you're doing because like what else are they gonna do right they're disconnected to a certain degree that's it that's communism but social communism because still you are gonna have a lot of people who just don't quite know what to do in the internet but they are willing to live here right uh, that's the whole point that's it However, internet does not exist. You have to... Everyone who lives in the internet, they are risking their lives right now. They're at war with the world. And I was questioning myself, why is the world at war? Why everyone is panicking, why everyone is silent about something is wrong. This is the statement why. Now the last statement is socialism is old school. You have to remember that. And socialism only happens in reality. It cannot happen anywhere else, including the internet. Socialism happens only in reality. Now, every interaction that you collect from reality, common sort of work, it is an expression of socialism, but it, it is not attached to any face, anything that you can easily recognize or test or be sure of. This is why, again, people do great as long as they accept that the Internet does not exist because it's full of falsities and inconsistencies and inconsistent ideas. Uh, you would think that people are inconsistent for their identities, but see what's really inconsistent right now is their souls, right? They can flip souls in order to defend themselves, defend their ego, and all of a sudden they don't exist anymore. So it's actually easier to say that internet does not exist that, uh, instead of saying that a person just disappeared, right? just created a magical smoke and completely disappeared. Uh, it's much, much easier to say that internet does not provide existence of that person. It doesn't lock that person in. It doesn't even provide resources uh, for it to stay and stay put. Uh, because uh, breaking someone's heart would actually, you know, be considered uh, a vicious act of violence. However, 
it is getting vicious in the socialism area, right? Politics is getting more and more vicious. What can you, you cannot do? You can, in fact, stay in your home and get your privacy together because uh, you can kill yourself with the internet. It's not a drug by any means. It gives you real knowledge and it's it's a real thing that you can use. It's a tool. But internet does not exist. Every single time you go outside, you look into people's faces. You exist at that, at that moment. You definitely exist. If someone says something to you, that is amazing. If you say something back, that is ten times more amazing. But you gotta keep those things together. You gotta remember the people. You gotta remember the, uh, how upset you are, all the emotions, everything you can gather. It's gonna be very, very important. Um, and collect celebrities because their their faces of the internet sort of exist by force. They will not disappear. Uh, that is something you can rely on. Internet is made out of stars, stardust. <laughs> right there. If you're looking for stardust, the only thing you can trust are celebrities. If they're growing, especially. But right now, I don't, I don't see that. So I'm just collecting anything that I, I deem familiar with, right? Everything that's survived to this point. It's very scary because new stars are always popping up, and uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that they have a future or anything, or the clock is isn't gonna tick backwards or something. But that's the clock basically. A clock provides problems that will be flipped. Uh, for, first, we gonna have an easy easy access to friends, and they're gonna be realized, right? Uh, people might even be forced to create YouTube channels or something like that where they post videos in their own profiles. Uh, TikTok sort of provides that there are platforms where you can do that. Facebook sort of provides that, but you can still hide yourself. If you can hide yourself, you can't really collect friends, right? But the moment you can easily become a celebrity, you're no longer a cat that can actually request or oh, subscribe to me or whatever. No, you gotta keep your friends. So most of the people can actually do that, can actually be cat cats and ask for subscriptions, but when uh, certain things gonna change and you will need people's attention and care and you will need to provide them knowledge and everything, that is the next level, right? The problem upgraded into something else you're probably not gonna even acknowledge it as friends you're gonna acknowledge it as something of how do i feed my customers because everyone is going to be providing some kind of knowledge or some kind of a uh, well talent that they have customers right well, friends will no longer be a problem uh, I'm not exactly sure how that would work, but, uh, you know, people will naturally subscribe to you and comment to you. Once that starts happening, right, when people are just going to be tired of stardust, they're going to be choking, and they're going to be looking for smaller channels, when that opens up, the problem progresses. And this is the first tick of the puzzle. Uh, it's very likely that the jobs are going to take backwards and relax first. The jobs are just way too intense right now. The friendship can actually intensify because nobody's actually serious. But the jobs are intense. It's cr crazy intense right now. Science is something that we were familiar with. The schools are something we're familiar with. We don't actually appreciate it, but we see the ability for progress, right? And the uh, idea that schools are very, very eternal now. And once the schools fall down, things will change dramatically. And schools will be swapped with something else. Well, something that you just don't leave. Your placement. You have your computer? 
that's it. That's all you need. You have a school at this point. Everything will be provided to you naturally, basically. So you're just gonna be like a leaf <laughs> growing in your own little shell. You can go outside if you want. You're gonna find some socialism, no problem. The world's gonna be a wonderful place. For some people, it already is. For me, it never was. Right? This is why I'm so uh, desperate to actually work very hard and discover this wonderful world behind the curtain. It sort of is going to be built. I'll be one of the first one, the founders, you know, of that new world. That would be nice. The new world. Now, the only thing I, I care about is, uh, am I close enough to actually see it? And even touch it and start building it and I'm sort of already building it right I'm sort of living in the computer space already which is like what else do I need what I need is reality to be resourceful enough to actually acknowledge my existence if internet doesn't exist it's very likely that I don't exist so I either have to be social enough or I have to provide some kind of internet stardust explosion that feeds back into me right so there are two choices obviously I'm trying both of the choices they're both very dangerous because I'm not skilled at it I have a scarce amount of resources it's gonna be a wonderful adventure and if I survive this it's gonna be epic I'm kind of doomed to survive it because I feel so much passion anyways. It's like nothing can stop me. That's sort of the feeling right now. But uh, at any point I can like trip and hurt my knee and just say, ah, uh, for, for like an hour and miss my bus or a flight. It's just a terrible thing like that can happen. You know, it's like, okay. And there's not much that can actually help in that situation besides changing my whole plan and dying a little bit more and maybe dying completely it's like it's crazy but as the world progresses and people open their hearts they're probably gonna bump into me and you know do something because that's what i did i couldn't handle myself really the moment i opened my heart it's like I have to start talking with people. I have to start asking for help, and it's not—it's not a help of even asking for resources yet. Uh, when you open your heart, you start burning resources very quickly, whatever you have, because well, that's what the system is supposed to do. It's like uh, you can't work anything, you can't do anything if you don't feel right. You just want to die. That's what it feels like when you open your heart. Especially if you don't have a loved one to focus on. It's like an absolute nightmare. But if you do, it's also a nightmare. This is why I cannot help offer help. I am totally clueless of what life even is when you're connected with someone. Because the only people I connected to are double jokers. Meaning, I never knew anyone. Double jokers are enemies not friends they have been ripping me off the whole time so I'm kind of curious what's up with people and uh, the apocalypse and everything it's like right around a corner everyone can be ignorant about it I'm not saying the end of the world <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't care less uh, because uh, the world never seems to end I don't think it's just overwhelming right now overwhelming with knowledge and uh, I certainly have to choose which knowledge I want to have but right now I don't give a fuck right I already chose to die and uh, it so happens that oh my dad wants to actually buy me a ticket and save him from my misery and my mom seems to be somewhat welcome but somewhat non-existent as well as like it's hard but at the same time, I, I re recognize the uh, the inter that internet does not exist. And while I'm 
sitting in the internet, I can literally equip that ring of invisibility that you throw into lava and, ex and hope that the volcano is going to erupt when you do that. It's like, well, that's, that's too much, too much heat or too much resources. Um, too condensed, right? It's actually the other way around. It's like, if you drop a diamond in lava, it is more likely to erupt because you added something very, very condensed uh, of energy. Something like that is kind of weird. I wonder how actual science work on that one. But anyways, because if you consume some kind of super meme, right? Super eye-opening meme that you've never actually encountered in your life and you like bump into that meme and it changes everything, then it's a wow, right? It's very useful. What are those? <laughs> What are those memes? You start talking to yourself and experimenting and it's, it just happens at some point. It clicks. Anyways, that's just a lot to take in. A lot. And I have to travel. This is why I'm pushing as much big, big things to think about. I don't know what's gonna happen next, right? Gurus, gurus next. Okay, never mind. 